Before we jump into CSS layouts, I actually just want to take a look at Create from Samples from the Welcome screen and show you how you can create a basic style sheet document based on some templates that Adobe provides in Dreamweaver CS3. You can just browse through the list and choose any one of these things that kind of matches uh, the area that you're headed toward. You know, they're not going to be, there's only, you know, 20 or so in this menu, so they're not going to be things that are exactly what you want, but they may look decent or look like a decent place to start. So you go ahead and choose one, click Create, and then you're actually going to have to open up a copy of the template file. So Adobe's just going to tell you you can't actually edit this file, but it can be viewed and then you can save it. So we click View. And we've got the basics of a style sheet document sitting here ready to go. We can do a file save, and I'll save it to my example folder on the desktop. Just call it example.css. And now if I create a new file in this website, Command N, click on blank page, click on HTML, and we could actually attach our style sheet right at this point by saying attach CSS file, click on the link button, actually go point to that file, which is example.css, click choose, OK, and create. And this page will automatically come up and be created with the link tag pointing to that particular style sheet for us automatically. Another way to do it would be to create a new page. Don't link to the file here. Click create. We have our plain old HTML page. And down in the style menu at the bottom is attach style sheet. And you can actually go through the same process of browsing to your file choosing it, clicking OK. And now that's also, both these documents have that same link tag pointing to the example.css file. And the reason, again, these file names are so long and they are file colon slash 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 and then things like my folder structure on my machine is that this file has not been saved yet, this page. So let's save this page into the example site. I'm going to call this one index, save it an example. Notice the style sheet tag went back to normal. And I'll save my second one, Command S to save. And I'll call this one page two. And I have multiple pages. And I can start to insert text and elements into my pages. I'm just going to grab some text here real quick from this text document and paste it in. Let's say this is the paragraph text I want. Copy, which is Command C, back over to Dreamweaver and Command V to paste. You see that this normal text that's coming up inside of P tags in the body is handled by the body tag. My fonts are Verdana, the size is 12, line height 24, that's what's giving us that space. I want there to be a little more space, it's very easy to just change my line height right there in the body tag. Or even my color, if I want the color to be just a little darker, you can change it right there. You can change all the basic elements of this style sheet that you started with from Adobe's template. Let's just close these files out. I'll save them. What the heck? And now I'd like to take a look at. Let me close that window in the background. I want to take a look at a starter page, creating from samples again. You can actually pick one of these themes. These are all five page themes a calendar, a catalog, a home page, a product page, and a basic text page. Just pick the page that you want. Click Create, save the page to a folder. I'll save it to the same one. This will be uh, sports.html on that same website. This has a new CSS file and a spacer GIF and an image placeholder that can all actually end up in the same directory as the site's going to. Notice our text back here is generic text. And as soon as I hit copy and that CSS file is created, everything's updated to reflect that CSS. And this is, of course, all editable. You just click and drag to highlight text. And I can make my own headers and taglines. Let's do um, and we can change our other text. And I can change my images just simply by redefining where the source of the image is, clicking on Browse and pointing to a new image file, or using the Point to File widget by just clicking and dragging and pointing to images in your Files panel. 
can save this page. And you can always duplicate pages just by right clicking on them, choosing edit, and saying duplicate. And we might actually call copy of sports, let's call this page3.html. And now I can open up page three and I'll get the same page that I had there. Although I can make my Although I can make other edits to this to make this unique. Swap out my image, make navigational changes, add some other text over here. These are all editable and you can just continue to add pages either by duplicating or going back to the file new or command N screen and choosing start a page theme and maybe choosing one of the other pages like just the text page for example. It opens up another blank untitled page, text only.html, add some new CSS elements and another space or GIF because it's required. And now I have a text page. So I'll hit Command S to save and test my page in Safari. I notice that I haven't edited my insert website name or optional tagline. Here's the basic text page headline that I added. You can go back to Dreamweaver, change my name to the name of the actual site, hit save, test in Safari, and just continue working on the page until it looks and says everything that I want it to say, publish it to the site, and you've got a nice template that you can work from. Thank <laughs> you.